Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. I recently did a reaction to the Mamas and the Papas and this one came up in the comments a lot because I was saying how much I love harmonies. So it is the Bee Gees with Too Much Heaven. Their vibratos, all of them have really interesting vibratos because they're kind of vibratos, but also tremolos. So tremolos when you have a modulation in volume as well as pitch, whereas vibrato is just pitch. And so you're getting this, ah, that extra sort of push through, which is kind of interesting that they all have it. And I suppose, you know, brothers, the blend is beautiful. And I guess doing harmonies like this I, I think with that phrasing, it's so unusual. They've definitely decided on the phrasing. Da, 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 with those little staccatos in the middle. But that sort of blend only really happens with singing with each other a lot. And, you know, they're brothers. So I'm sure they have sung together since they were little. His voice to me is so interesting because he actually isn't singing in a way that many people would. I think as he goes up to that falsetto, when he's in the kind of mid mix, ah, he's in what we would say is a lovely balanced place. It's not too nasal, it's fairly warm. It just sits kind of in a really nice warm place. But as he gets higher, he adds a bit of nasality into it, which gives him that really, really distinctive sound. Like no one sounds like Barry Gibb. No one sounds like him because most people wouldn't go for that nasality. But it really shows that sometimes it's your limitations or the things that feel like flaws that actually are the things that make you unique. It's not a flaw. <laughs> I don't think I would ever teach someone to do that little run. It's kind of slidey, it has that nasality, it's such an unusual tone. But this is where, you know, as a teacher, it's really important to understand what each student wants and keep on top of like asking them, do you like that sound? Is that what you want to sound like? Because if you like that sound, then someone else will. And my taste isn't necessarily right or um, the kind of standard singing isn't necessarily always right for you or the standard sound isn't necessarily right for you. And I often think that it's those little idiosyncrasies that make people uh, just so brilliant so brilliantly unique and why not sing however you want as long as it's healthy that's the key it's as high as a mountain and harder to
Oh, I just love their phrasing. It's so together. There's something that he did really interestingly there. Obviously, you've got all these really, really tight three-part harmonies, perfect phrasing, and then Barry just held a note a little bit longer. So then he pops out that mix and then he joins back in. That is what's also brilliant in that there's that really distinctive voice that can really, really pop out, but then he can bring it back. And they're going for this really breathy tone so that they really match. If they were all like, na 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 na, with like a full tone, it wouldn't, it just wouldn't work. It wouldn't have that kind of dreamlike feeling and it would feel like three singers fighting, but they're bringing it back, making it quite small, quite breathy and really, really matching. The harmonies are so tight. Perfect pitch. Oh, I love the orchestral backing as well. <laughs> like that tiny little change, too much. Adding that little slidey two in there. Oh, I. I just can't get over how great their phrasing is, how spot on and how together they are and how they can blend, how they can stand out. You know, I, I have to say, I've never personally been that much of a Bee Gees fan. It's not something I would sit and listen to, but I can certainly, certainly appreciate this. And I said appre appreciate, I said it really weird. <laughs> Yeah, like cry, how they're all adding that little H in the middle of the slide at the same time. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, he can certainly sing up there, can he? I feel like this is a masterclass in just owning who you are. This unusual tone um, can be used in a way to make something so beautiful. And people often feel like, oh, I don't like my tone, it's not like... I want it because they're comparing themselves to other people, but there's beauty to be found in anyone's tone, whether it has nasality or whether it's really heavy or whether it's breathy. There's beauty in everything, in everyone's voice. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.